our next guest, who is the host of TBS's Go Big show. You can't go small here. No, 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 no. You cannot go small. You have to go big. Uh, celebrity judges include our friends of pro, a lot of friends of our program right here, Cody Rhodes, Snoop Dogg, also Rosario Dawson and Jennifer Nettles. Who is the person that TBS said, we choose him to make sure that everything stays on track. We choose him to make sure the funny is the funniest. We choose him. The him being Bert Kreischer back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Bert? Dave Magadan. <laughs> no, 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 okay. I told you. By the way, I told you. That is, you've been waiting. How you've been waiting like two, like years, two years to correct the record. Let's start off our interview hitting the way back machine. Tell me the story you told me uh, with Don Mattingly at the center of it, instead of By Dave way, Magadan. Go I'm so guilty of this all throughout life. One time, I told my wife. I almost got in a fight with a guy who looked like Louis C.K., but instead of saying Louis C.K., I said Louis Anderson. <laughs> such a less impressive story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Sometimes facts matter. So oh. so what's the story again, Bert? I forget it a little bit here. Remind me. Me and Scott Bobeer got in trouble <laughs> in high school, and we had to run something called player appreciations during – our uh, lunch period or, or homeroom or whatever. So we go out to the field, and at the field was Fred McGriff, and I, did, I almost did it again. Do, I want to say Don Mattingly, but it's Dave Magadan <laughs> who had gone to Jesuit. And we're jogging, and they're <laughs> taking BP, and Dave Magadan <laughs> hits a dot, and it hits Bo Beer in the back of the in the back of the just back, and he just hits the ground hard. Right. And he's like, oh my god. And we turn around, and they're, like, kind of laughing, but they're like, sorry, sorry, guys. And we're like, oh, my God. And we're like, I can't believe you got hit. And he's like, I know, crazy. And we turn around. We start to keep jogging, facing the outfield, and he gets hit again. And we turn around, and he's like, I told you I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I thought it was Don Mattingly, which is such a better story. It was Dave Magadan. <laughs> so Dave Magadan was purposefully, with Fred McGriff maybe egging him on, Aiming for you in the outfield is what you're saying. Aiming for us. Going opposite field. Hey, listen, anyone's, anyone that can go opposite field, I'm very impressed by. What's <laughs> interesting about this story is I knew, I said Don Mattingly, and you lit up. And I was like, wow, that's so odd that he's a big Don. I'm thinking Dave Maggot in my head going, I mean, he had a career, but it wasn't like no. through the roof. No. And you're like, that is my favorite player. I'm like, did you go to Jesuit high school too? <laughs> <laughs> And the second I get home, I call. I get calls from Bo Beer, who's like, it was Dave Magadan. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yes. So, and you. That's and, like saying and, I hung out and partied with Daniel Craig, but instead it was Jenny Craig. And you're like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes. It's a big difference. There is, there is a big difference in all that. Oh, my gosh. Did, so did you play ball when you were younger, Bert? Did you actually? Yes. Oh, by the way, yes. And can I tell you, Please. I've come upon a realization yes. when it comes to sports. Now, I fell out of love with baseball. I was a big baseball player, got recruited to go to a couple of colleges, went to walk on to Florida State, played literally one day, and then walked off and was like, I'm going to do drugs. And so <laughs> I literally, by little that I know, I could have done both. <laughs> Mark McGuire. Now, so um, I did. I fell out of love with baseball and I'm watching Ken Burns' baseball documentary on yes. PBS. Yes. And I'm looking at videos from like the eighties when I was in love with it. And I'm like, why isn't baseball as sexy as back then when you'd watch plays of the week, you know, this week in baseball. Oh, yeah. Why isn't it? And I came to a realization. It's the same reason that I now love porn. Is back <laughs> then when I was a kid, I could watch those baseball things and those baseball place and go i'll be doing that this weekend on the little league diamond the same way i look at porn i go i'm gonna do that at home <laughs> now i watch baseball i go i can't do any of that i'll never do that there's no connection with the art like i don't get to go out and dive into a diamond like ozzy smith i'm out of it so that's my realization yes i did play baseball well, and that's <laughs> a simple question uh that led to some some of me recalling my innocent times of watching like the baseball bunch you know with johnny bench and oh. and then and then you and then you go all you know uh 
all porn industry on me right there. Um, so it, giving, I guess, new meaning to triple play, Bert, right, is what yeah. you're saying? Oh, dude, I, I mean, every kid, anyone listening right now that's a baseball fan knows yeah. that and when you watched Pete Rose slide into third base, that one memorable slide into yes. third base. Yep, where head he first. Got, you could just go, you could go to your backyard and fill the backyard up with water and go do PDs yourself. No doubt. No doubt about it. Bert yeah. Kreischer here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, go big show uh, on TBS. So I guess that's it, it, that's all you've been doing is going big when you say you had Mattingly and it was really Magadan or anything like that. So you're used oh. to, so you're, you are, you are used to doing this. Tell me about go big show, Bert. What do you oh, got it's here? Amazing. What do you it got? really is an amazing show. We went down to, we went down to Macon for one month, stayed in a bubble, Snoop Dogg, Rosario Dawson, me, Cody Rhodes, Jennifer Nettles. And it's basically, it really is like an extreme talent show. Like it is, it is talent that you would discover you have in the back of a field in Indiana to your friends drunk. And you go, well, how am I ever going to make money doing that? I can hold 20 rattlesnakes in my mouth. Who's going to pay me for that? We will. We will. <laughs> it is so much fun. It was a blast to shoot. It is going to be a blast to watch. We've got alligators, monster trucks, r- rattlesnakes. The guy gets in a sleeping bag with rattlesnakes. I hope I'm not spoiling it. No, no. But it is, it is out through the world death-defying, fun, crazy, feats of strength. It, it was a blast. And then you got Snoop Dogg, who basically was <laughs> stoned to his bejesuses <laughs> the entire time. I mean, that guy really is the real deal. He, like, is. he is the real deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, uh, years ago when I was uh, running my 40-yard dash uh, for charity at the NFL Scouting Combine, uh, you know, he was so cool to want me to run in his shoes, which I think were Adidas at the time. And then the league stepped in and it was an a, a, a issue with not being the official shoe of the combine or whatever. And he was really cool. And I had to call him up and say that I couldn't do it. But when I went to go visit him at the combine, he went there. He was there and he was going to perform that night. And I got off the elevator. I knew which room he was in. Can I tell you? When I just Can got I off you? the elevator, Bert. <laughs> I could, I could follow I my mean, nose all the way to the room. That's a fact. That happened. This is embarrassing to say. Yes, Bert. But one night, one night, I do this stunt with the guy, and he goes, you do that stunt, and we'll drink together tonight. And I was like, nice. So one night we get off. We don't drink that night. The next night I'm going to our trailers. We're going, Our trailers were next to each other. And he's about to go in his trailer, and he's like, yo, Bert. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, you want to take a shower? And I was like, Sure. <laughs> He's like, all right, come on over. And so I was like, wow, that's odd. Snoop wants to take a shower together. I'm like, it's Snoop. You know, you want to have a story of you hanging with Snoop. So I was like, uh, okay. So I go over to his door, and his bodyguards are there. I was like, yes, yeah, Snoop wants me to come in and take a shower. And they're like, oh, inside. And so I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be weird. So I knock on the door. I get in. I'm already shirtless, right? I'm already shirtless. <laughs> well, that's just sure, of course. And Snoop's like, what's up? I was like, you want to take a shower? And he looks at me, and he goes, what? And I said, you said you wanted to take a shower. And he goes, no, I said, do you want to take a shot? And I went, oh. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he's silent, and he looked at me, and he goes, you came over to shower with me? <laughs> and, and I'm like, yeah, I guess I would have taken a shower with you also. <laughs> and you're shirtless during this conversation. And shirtless. <laughs> and literally, he's frozen, and he's like, tequila? And I was like, even if, yeah, I would like that. Even if we're not going to shower. That is fantastic. That is oh. just fantastic. Oh, my God. How much? She was the best. Did you try to uh, speak to the producers of this show and convince them to allow you shirtless and hosting it shirtless? Because we noticed. Uh, no, they were, they, were, they were not fans of that. But I'm, <laughs> I'm really, I'm a tactile person. Yes. So the second we, I would wear a shirt for shooting, yes. and then I would just take it off the second. So I was shirtless the entire show and it was funny the first day everyone's like what's that guy doing shirtless and then by the end everyone's like no one even noticed it <laughs> they're used to it oh, oh yeah. my god so but you didn't even attempt to say hey you know what I, I do my best work shirtless so let's do this shirtless and that wasn't even I, an option i ripped my shirt off one time this is a spoiler alert i'm sure okay. tbs is like please don't share this okay um so we had an archer we had an archer uh attempt a shot that he couldn't do and then I said, hey, can I try it? And immediately everyone's like, don't try it. Don't try it. This is stupid. We have a live weapon. And you know me. I'm already moving forward. And everyone's like, there's a weapon on set. Everybody clear. Like everyone's losing their mind. 
Snoop is, of course, like, there's no way you're doing it. Cody starts videotaping it, and I, from about 50 yards, bang out a bullseye with a bow and arrow. Come on. And, and they're all rolling cameras. They're all rolling cameras, right? I bang it off. Snoop's mouth is dropped. Rip my shirt off, and I go, I'm the machine. <laughs> and immediately, Snoop's eyes go, I think I understand this man. You talk his language. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. my gosh. Are you making a machine movie, Bert? Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're doing. Oh, oh. You, you just lose him? We lost him. Oh, just forget to. It is awesome. Not... It uh... is awesome. And I am doing a cycle of steroids. <laughs> All right. So we just lost you right there after I said. So are you are doing a, a machine movie, Bert? Yes, I am doing a machine movie. It shoots in Prague. I am doing a cycle of steroids. <laughs> okay, what? let's take it one at a time. Prague, why Prague? Because that's where it, it all took place, most, right? It looks the most like Russia where we're not going to get shaken down every left turn we take. Okay, so, and then and then um, you're taking steroids. I'm going to do a cycle of steroids because I really want that, like, pow factor where I release a picture of myself and everyone's like, what the? And then I'm going to take a cycle of steroids up until the first day of shooting, yes. and then we'll reshoot it. We'll shoot that, and then I'll start gaining weight until the end of the movie. You do realize, though, Bert, and I, I don't speak from experience here, uh, but steroids helps you recover from workouts. Like, you do have to still work out. Like, steroids doesn't just turn you into uh, a muscle-bound individual. You still have to do the work, Bert. You know yeah, that, right? there's a lot of different steroids that do different things. So I'm going to take – I think I, the one I'm looking into is Winstrol. I think it just gets you shredded. Okay. So. All right, so Winstrol, okay. Got it. But you, you're going for, like, the Kumail Namjani, like, shock factor that everyone? Oh, yeah, but I'll be taking steroids, so people won't even remember him. He's got <laughs> he's got natural physique. I'm going for Lou Ferrigno. Like, what is wrong with this guy? There's so, Like, seriously, he did steroids. And then I'm going to go on talk shows and go, oh, yeah, I did steroids. It's awesome. Like, I'm going to really kind of lean into the steroids. <laughs> But Bert, uh, I got to tell you that might that might not be um, a good idea. But uh, you know, hey, if if that's what you that's the way you want. Hey, you you are willing to take a shower with Snoop Dogg? <laughs> Dude, that's it, I could be like I could be like uh, I, I could be like story. the voice of steroids in the new generation. Where everyone's could. like, no, they actually. It's like how many movie stars do steroids to get ripped for a part anyway, right? And then don't admit it. Right. Wouldn't it be refreshing to see? Because if you're a comedian and you're doing it, you got to go. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yoked. And I'm juiced to the gill. Like, literally, <laughs> literally, I cannot find my testicles. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, the host of Go Big Show premiering on TBS at 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday night. Also the host of BurtCast, a weekly podcast, um, the machine Burt Kreischer himself. Uh, is, can, uh, can Bill Burr get you a role on The Mandalorian season three? <laughs> what do you think? You want to get the funniest? We did a podcast yesterday, sure. and I said I didn't know that John Favreau directed The Mandalorian. Yeah, and and wrote was it. like, oh no, he's like, he's like awesome. And I go, Bill, I'm sorry, I gotta apologize. Like, I haven't watched it. And you know, Bill's like, you haven't watched it. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not like, I'm not like a big Star Wars guy. So I, I go, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't watched it. And I go, what's this season about? And Bill freezes, and he goes, I haven't watched it either, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, I wish you hadn't asked me that question. I thought I was getting away clean. He goes, I don't know, man. I've been busy. I haven't watched it. I'm not a Star Wars oh, guy either. My God. You're in The Mandalorian. He hasn't even watched it. I got to tell you, it's, yeah. just, it's, just, it's just wild to hear the, uh, the mass hole accent right in the middle of some Star Wars venture. You know, it's really wild. But he's really good oh. in it. Bill's he's he's really good in it, man. He crushed it. Dude, he's awesome. We do we do Bill Burt every week. Right. And every week we laugh his stare. And Bill really, really has no filter and really does not care about cancel culture. He doesn't listen to it. So you want to talk about refreshing we were talking we spent an entire podcast talking about World War Two as if we were born in nineteen thirty. Like <laughs> it was it was. It's awesome. I love podcasting with that guy. Well, and I, I love listening to it and watching you guys. And and Bert, uh, let's do this more often. Let's not do this every two years. And uh, where you know, and and certainly, you, if you need to ever get the words Dave Magan and off your chest, don't wait so long. Okay, don't wait I, so I, long. I love you guys. I love you guys, right. and I love that you guys shouted me out when you were talking about the machines oh, of and that oh, and and who are the machines? Which ones are the real machines? I love being in that conversation. I got so. Oh. I get all my friends from Florida start texting me. And they're like, "We guys are talking about you. We guys are talking about you." 
I love it. I will take it any time. And congrats, Bert, on, on everything. Let's do this yeah, more best, often. Buddy. Really. Love you guys. Right back at you. See at you, Bert Kreischer you, on both Twitter and Instagram, his career blowing up. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.